Subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Two Muslim men launched terror attacks over the weekend, as you may know. 28-year-old Ahmad Rahani, U.S. citizen who immigrated from Afghanistan, allegedly set off a bomb that injured 29 people in Manhattan. He was captured earlier today. And 22-year-old Dahir Adan of Somali descent allegedly stabbed nine innocent folks in a Minnesota shopping mall before being shot dead by police. All of the victims there are expected to jump in Clinton. No one can stop these attacks by disturbed individuals who are badly damaging the Islamic faith. Young Muslim uh, men are now looked upon with suspicion all over the world. And the crazy terrorists are the reason why. But even though individual mayhem is a terror group, we should have devastated them a long time ago, not allowed them the whole territory and export mayhem. That policy of light confrontation has led to mass chaos in the Middle East and Europe as millions of refugees are leaving their homes because no one, no one, will protect them from the horror imposed by the jihadists. Nevertheless, President Obama said again today he is staying the course. We will continue to lead the global coalition in the fight to destroy ISIL, which is uh, instigating a lot of uh, people over the Internet uh, to carry out attacks. Uh, we are going to continue to go after them. We're going to take out their leaders. We're going to take out their infrastructure. And we're going to continue to enlist uh, tech companies and community and religious leaders to push back against online extremist content and all messages of hate. Good luck with that, Mr. President. You remember Apple would not even help crack the San Bernardino killer's phone. Remember that? Now, both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump responded to the latest terror attacks today, both believing the other is in... They know who a lot of these people are. They're afraid to do anything about it. They don't want to be accused of, uh, of uh, profiling. Do we have a choice? Look what's going on. Do we really have a choice? We're trying to be so politically correct in our country. Mm -hmm. We know that Donald... First debate. Secretary Clinton's anti-terror posture, pretty much the same as what President Obama has put into place. Mr. Trump, far more aggressive, at least his words are, in limiting the USA's exposure to Muslims abroad and punishing groups like ISIS. On the terror issue, Trump has the advantage as most Americans are pretty much fed up with the jihad and want to see a more aggressive policy to defeat it. Trump has also a motion on his side. As the president and Mrs. just about all the terrorism in the world is generated by Islamic fanatics. Summing up, Trump has a major opportunity on the national security issue if he lays out plans that are specific and not harmful to innocent folks. Migrants and peaceful Muslims aren't the problem. Jihadists are. The next president will have to set up the terror target and then punch it out. Anger is growing. And that's all. Now for the top story tonight. Today I spoke with Donald Trump, who was in Fort Myers, Florida. So I made a statement on the terror over the weekend. I'm just going to read one sentence. Uh, quote, I will bring an end to these senseless acts of violence. They're wrong to say that we're in a fight about narratives. These terrorists pose an existential threat to our country, our values, our way of life. Um, I don't know if anybody can can bring an end to individual acts of violence, you know? I mean, I don't think it's possible. Am I wrong? Well, one thing you have to do is degrade. What's happening is they are going around and they feel emboldened and they feel wonderful and all of the people in our country and other countries are looking up to ISIS because ISIS continues to taunt the United States. They started off in a small area. They're now in 28 countries, Bill. 28 countries. Think of it. This is during Hillary Clinton's uh, tenure. Uh, 28 countries. It was just reported. And I want to tell you, that is disgraceful. So, you have to bring them down and you have to bring them down fast. You know, the, the young people in our country and other countries, they're looking up to these people. They have respect for these people. It's like, they, let's put it this way. They're getting good public relations because it looks like they're beating the United States or certainly like the United States can't beat them. Right. And it's certainly uh, a uh, psychological war as well as a physical war. But we're, Western Europe hasn't really helped out. And I mean, that's going to be a part of the equation for the next president because Mr. Obama really Mr. Obama said today, I don't know whether you're aware, his wear them down. We don't need more action. 
and what he's doing. Uh, it's, a, it's the, as uh, we've defined here, the strategy of acceptable losses. Now, another thing you said that was very controversial is that you want to profile. You want to profile Arab or Muslim men. How would that work? Well, then we have no choice. Israel does it, and Israel does it very successfully. They do it at the air. They want to do it. They do it at the air. Well, they they do. They see somebody that they'd like to like to look at, that they'd like to maybe open up their satchel and take a look what's inside. They do it, and they don't like to do it. I don't like to do it, but we have to be. You know, you have a a woman who's eighty-seven years old in a wheelchair from Sweden, and we have to look at her if we're going to look at somebody else. It's ridiculous. So, what would you do, though? Do you have a vision? We want to be so politically correct. Do you have a vision of how that profiling would work? It works where if we see somebody that we think there could be a problem at airports and other places, you talk to them and you see what's going on. But I think they do that We don't now. do that. You know, look, the Not guy, much. the alleged bomber here in New York, lived over a chicken stand his father owns in New Jersey. I mean, come on. And the guy out in, in Minneapolis or in that area, St. Cloud, he, he's a 20-year-old college student. So I mean, these are just people who are loons. They just lose it. And I don't know if we could ever stop that. The guy over the chicken stand brought litigation, a lot of litigation against different people. And I'll bet you that's why he was on no list. You know, he was on no list. They yeah, probably the didn't list. want to put him because they didn't right. want to get sued. So they probably saw he's a litigious guy and they don't want to get sued. So they left him alone. Who knows what the reason is? But whatever the reason is, it's no good. We have to end this. It's horrible. And one thing I will say, I mean, I think they have gained great respect for ISIS and the leaders of ISIS. And you see it all the time. And and. Uh, they're becoming they're, they're being radicalized and bill it's going to get worse with this administration certainly with the way it's gone and with hillary clinton who's so weak and i get a kick where hillary clinton says i will this and i will that what's she been doing for the last 30 years number well, one she voted for the war i'd but like what's to she know been too. Doing for the I, last 30 I, I, years I, i'd like to know what her strategy or how it departs from president obama now she said today because of your profiling comment she said that you are a quote sergeant of recruitment for uh, Muslim fanatics, that once they hear you say, we're going to come get you and profile you and doing it, then they want to sign up. How do you answer that? It's just words, Bill. You know, it's words given by Madison Avenue advertising agency. She's spending hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, tremendous, vast amounts of money in advertising against me. They're using, they're talking about my strongest thing is my temperament. And they talk about my temperament. They put 10 things on a board and they said, oh, let's go after him for temperament. It's my strongest thing, according to the people that know me best. I won't even say it myself. I think maybe even if I was going to say it, my temperament is the best. I know how to win. You just just did say it yourself, though, just to point (laughs) out. Okay, no, but no, but no, I, I want, want a little more myself. definition. When you say my strongest suit is my temperament, what does that mean to you? Well, I I know how to win. I know how to win. I've been winning. I do win. Even in sports, I win. And we don't win. Our country doesn't win. We don't win a trade. We don't win. We can't beat ISIS. Can you imagine General Douglas MacArthur or General Patton? Can you imagine? They're spinning in their grave right now when they see the way we fight. We announce that we're sending certain people over here at a certain time. Everything's political. It's very, very sad. Then we bomb the Syrian troops. You saw that over the weekend. We bombed. I guess we killed more than 80 troops. And now Russia's absolutely furious at us. But we bombed the wrong people. I mean, we're like the gang that couldn't shoot straight. Our country, with this leader, is the gang that couldn't shoot straight. That's what it is. All right. That's an old Jimmy Breslin uh, book. Final question in this segment. I don't want to talk to you about the debates. When you... um say that you're going to profile certain Muslims. Are you ever worried that the peaceful Muslims, and and there are millions of Americans, you know, we don't have a big problem here with Muslims like they do in Europe, in France. We don't have that big problem where they're ghettoized and they don't like their country and police can't go into the neighborhoods. You know the problem in Europe. We don't have that. Are you worried that sometimes when you say these things that peaceful Muslims will be the victim of backlash, the victim of, of people just lumping everybody into the terror jar? Well, first of all, I never said the term Muslim. You did. You told me Muslims. I didn't say that. I'm saying you're going to profile people that maybe look suspicious. I didn't say they were Muslims. But or how not. could, how could they look Bill. suspicious? I said. I mean, how? I don't know. You're going to. These are experts. That's what they do. They profile. You go to Israel and they should study because Israel's done a phenomenal job at this, and they profile, and they're not happy about it, but they do 